Huh. I gotta get oh, looking yeah. good. My goodness. <laughs> Nora and Gabriel are gonna wanna know that this is really Grandma Jojo. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read you a story that I read to you this morning uh, here in Vermont. And it's called Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip. And I think it is a great story. So I'm going to start it, and I'll show you the pictures, okay? The whole thing started when Grandma Lena decided to grow turnips in her backyard. With her reading glasses perched on her nose, just like that, all winter she studied her seed catalogs, hoping to find just the right kind of plant. Grandma chuckled at all the fancies, fancy names. There were White Knights and Scarlet Queens, Royal Crown and White Lady. She finally decided on a turnip called, do you remember? It's called Purple Top. After all, purple was her favorite color. Mine too. These are all, there's Grandma Lena. And here's the great, whoopsie, great huge turnip. Whoops, I can't quite get it right. Where is that turnip? There. What's that? I remember you said. And there's a beet. Where do you want it? You want it here? That's all right. That's the big turnip. Now let's look over here. A beet. Uh, I think that's a radish up there. And a turnip. Uh, right there. Yep, right there. That's your daddy's hand. Okay, I'm going to turn the page. This is sort of a long, long story, so I might sort of speed along a little bit. Here's Grandma Lena. When spring arrived and the ground was soft enough for digging, Grandma Lena planted the tiny seeds. I do that. Or Linda does it more than I do. She didn't worry that the air was still nippy. You say, who's Linda? I live with Linda. She knew turnips liked cool weather. So here she is planting. Look at her. There's Grandma Lena. Grandma Jojo, show you Grandma Lena. Oh, nice. Well, I like that hat. Yeah. I have a hat. Remember, it's a great big blue one I wore it mm. in the sunshine. She has glasses, too. And then too. over here, all of these little guys are the turnips being planted. Can you see it? Whoopsie, the light went down. Okay, soon tiny plants popped up. Oh boy. For the next month, Grandma Lena watered and weeded her turnip plants every day. Hey, Lena, Uncle Isidore teased. I hope you taught those turnips how to swim. You're watering, you are watering them so much, I'm afraid they're going to drown. That's bad. Grandma Lena grunted and said what she always believed. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. And I believe that. Every day the turnips grew. One was bigger than the rest. Here are the turnips growing. How do you like that? Look at that mm. big one among all the little ones. Looks like a ball there. You see uh, the ball? Yeah. Is oh, that yes. a ball? Yes, it's a ball. It's Under a there. table. Remember in that red thing? Yeah. Do you remember barbecue. what it is, oh. Nora? It's it? a barbecue. Barbecue. Did you read this sign already? Uh, Those people there? Are there are people yeah. there. Who are they? Yeah, Grandma was just oh, talking about them. Oh, I think I better them. read it. Just a second. I must have read it. Mm-hmm. Oh, anything worth doing is a yes. I did read that. Now we're going to learn who the people are, I think. On the first day of June, Grandma Lena stepped into her garden to find the biggest, fattest, most gigantic, gigantic turnip she had ever laid eyes on. What a fine turnip stew it will make, she thought. I'm go it's you. enough to feed half the town. Look at that. I can go behind you. Hey, that's just a like, good idea. Just like you read normally. From the porch, so you can Baby talk. Pearl, see her? Baby Pearl, mm -hmm. stared at the turnip with wide eyes. Look at that. Big potato, she said with a giggle. 
But whoa, you and I know that it's a turnip that's growing bigger than anything else. Here's the ball. Here's the table. Has four legs. Has the big red barbecue. You asked me about that. And then here on the porch, we're going to meet all of these people. Looks like they're drinking some water or have a, some kind of drink. And reading the paper. And here's a little doggy sleeping in a chair. Let's turn the page and see what happens next. Grandma Lena took hold of the enormous stem and leaves. She yanked and jerked and tugged. But that big old turnip would not budge. Carl. Grandma called. Put down that newspaper and help me pull up this big old turnip. So here's Carl reading the paper. And, and Grandma is just shouting at him because she needs help. And she needs help over here. Look, how, look at the face she's making with her hat falling off and everything. She can't get it up alone. So she's asking Carl to help. Grandpa took off his reading glasses and came running. Then Grandpa pulled on Grandma while Grandma pulled on the turnip. They yanked and jerked and tugged. But that big old turnip would not budge. Look at them. Look at their faces they're making. Oh, they have on shoes to help keep them so they can pull harder. Izzy. Grandma yelled, stop eating up my peach jam and help us pull up this big old turnip. There's Grandma yelling, and I forget his name, Carl. So they're going to get some more help from Izzy. Let's go meet Izzy. Okay, here's Izzy. He's in the purple shirt. See the purple shirt? Red hat. Uncle Isidore, they call him Izzy also wiped his mouth and came running. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa, Grandpa pulled on Grandma, and they yanked and they jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Nettie, Grandma yelled, put the baby down and help us pull up this big old turnip. So this must be Nettie up here. Yes, there's Nettie. And she's listening to Grandma yell. Look, Grandma's yelling over here. Can you see her in the red and her glasses? So, let's hope. Now, here we're going to meet, I think, another character. Aunt Nettie gave Baby Pearl a toy and came running. Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore. There she is, pulling. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa. Grandpa pulled on Grandma. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Rascal, Grandma hollered. Put down that bone and help us pull up this big old turnip. So, look who's coming now. Here's Rascal. And there, there's even a baby. I don't know, maybe she'll help too. So they're all making faces with the pulling and the shoving and the jerking and the tugging. Whoopsie. I, I missed a page, I think. Yes, I did. Rascal dropped his chew bone and came running. Then Rascal pulled on Aunt Nettie. Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa. And Grandpa pulled on Grandma. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. And we can only see their feet and their legs here. So we have Aunt Nettie, Uncle Isidore, Grandpa, that's Grandpa's legs, and Grandma. They're all pulling, and Rascal's pulling, too. Baby Pearl came toddling across the yard, her diaper half undone. Oh, I hate to use this word. <clears throat> <coughs> we forgot to, about Pearl, said Grandma. Baby Pearl pointed at the ground. Big potato, she said. She thinks this is a potato.
but you know what it is. That's the big turnip. That is the huge turnip, purple turnip. Stand back, Pearl, warned Grandma. I'm going to haul this turnip out if it's the last thing I do. Okay, everyone, pull. See, they are, too. They're pulling. In all the confusion, nobody noticed that Baby Pearl was holding on to Rascal's tail. Can you beat that? Look at that. There she is pulling on the dog. Poor dog. Then Rascal clamped onto Aunt Nettie's skirt. Aunt Nettie grabbed Uncle Isidore. Uh, Uncle Isidore uh, grabbed Grandpa. And Grandpa held tight to Grandma. Boy, are they making faces. Look at Uncle Isidore. His face is really gruesome. The only one that looks happy is the baby. Okay, Baby Pearl is having a good time. Now look at that. Can you see that big purple turnip? Oh, we should ask Mila to cook us some turnips. Pop! Whew. At last, with the dirt flying in all directions, that big old turnip burst out of the ground, and the whole family fell in a pile behind it. Baby Pearl clapped and said, Uh-oh, fall down. Look, the dog slick in the face, if I forget her name. They all fell down. Look at them. That turnip was so big, they just lost their balance when it popped out. By now the sun was setting. Everyone else went to bed exhausted, but Grandma Lena stayed up late. She's not like your grandma. Your grandma, Jojo, goes to bed. She washed and chopped the turnip greens and put them in her biggest pots with some onions and bacon and cooked them until they were nice and tender. Here's a clock back here. Can you see that? And I remember you asked me, what are these? Can you see them? <coughs> They're muffins. After that, she chopped up the green, the giant turnip. It was so big, there would be plenty left out over for turnip casserole. <coughs> Pardon me, turnip fries and pickled turnips. Then she made a turnip stew with potatoes, carrots, and peas. What would turnip stew be without cornbread, thought Lena. So she baked golden brown corn muffins. That's what these are. Oh, that makes me hungry. And look what's here. Do you know? There's the moon and all the stars. That moon shines on you, and it shines on me, wherever you are. So the moon connects us, just like that. And there's a flower. I don't know. I think that's the baby. Let's turn the page and see what's next. The next day, Grandma Lena invited all her friends and neighbors to help her fill in the hole and share her delicious turnip dishes, just like you do in Vermont. You have lots of people come over to share. Half the town showed up with shovels, hoes, and spades. Some brought jugs of cool apple cider and lemony tea cakes to share. That's such a great, great thing to do. It was the biggest party since last year's 4th of July picnic. Everyone agreed that it was the best meal they'd had in a long, long time. The neighbors joked about what Grandma Lena would plant next year. It'll be big, one neighbor said. Lena doesn't do anything halfway. She does it all the way. Wow, look at all those people that came over. Wowee. Of course, said Grandma Lena, anything worth doing is worth doing right. I agree. And that is almost the end. That night, when the family was full and dozing in their chairs, Baby Pearl whispered to Rascal, Big potato, all gone. Night, night. The end.